This is Hit the Diamond. And, uh... Is that at all what you were expecting? <laughs> not one bit. We're um, just watching this we like, thought, wow, <laughs> this is nowhere thought, close what we could have predicted. I was just like, I, I thought there was going to be some sort of fight. Yeah, well, even it's called Hit the Diamond, and we know there's, like, Yellow Diamond's the one sending him out and everything, so we just start watching this and went, oh, um, okay. Yeah, I, huh. I, I liked it. Uh, I, I thought it was I thought it was funny. I thought it was cute. I liked seeing them all. Unexpected. Kinda, yeah, totally unexpected. Uh, I I really like all those rubies. I thought they were adorable. Um, I'm wondering if they got like women or kids to do the because they sounded very kid like. Um, they were like an evil Girl Scout troop. Yeah, and that's I like all how... I, I got. Like for some reason, just there's like a leader and, and the way the other four or five like follow. That. I was like. For some reason, I just got Girl Scouts, like evil Girl Scouts. <laughs> and there's something that's like, even though they're all kind of drawn alike. <laughs> yes, troop leader! <laughs> even though they're all kind of drawn alike, there's like these specific personalities to each one that they didn't really have to yeah. do. I think, I think it's very safe to say, though, that Sapphire is the brains of this uh, fusion operation. <laughs> yeah, but Ruby still had to say, you know, you hit the ball, you know, you can look at me. No, that is, going, that is, no, that is very true. Ruby did step up to play, but those early scenes were kind of painful. <laughs> she's just like sweating it away. Like, to, like I was just like, huh, I, I thought Ruby would be smarter. But then when you see what the other Rubies are like, I'm like, well, I guess she's the smartest of that group. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I thought this was, I feel this is a, Un an unfair representation of rubies. <laughs> Stereotypical. Rubius out there. Post on Tumblr your disappointment. <laughs> oh. All ruby lives matter. <laughs> Wouldn't that be amazing if Steven Universe just came out with like this unbelievably racist episode? <laughs> oh like, god. That would just be so funny. Like just out of nowhere like probably the most PC show you could get just suddenly like just slams like some sort of gender, ethnicity, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca Sugar is secretly a neo-Nazi. <laughs> it was like fucking Captain America. It was a Hydra plot the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> now I don't want to see that happen, but it would be amazing. <laughs> um, God, I'm just imagining that. I'd kill to see Rebecca Sugar just like throw in Hail Hydra in an episode. <laughs> so I, I will say it did shock me like when um not ruby when garnet she like had like a line in the beginning of this episode i was like oh that's wrong i've got lines this episode because <laughs> i was just Even like that not much she was, I, it was just like they had all vanished last episode and it made me realize how much i kind of too, yeah, yeah i kind of missed them um i love the the baseball like send off where it's like steven pearl bob <laughs> It was Earl, remember, not for Earl. Earl, I'm sorry. What, whatever. I like how even sort of the outfits that they wore sort of represented what kind Different, of characters. Yeah. And yeah, like Pearl kind of had like the old Proper, 1920s. Proper, old-timey. <laughs> yeah. I can go for it. look like that kind of turn of the century. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, you know what I really like about it? Again, I like it when you just take characters and it's like just put them... In any scenario, put them on a cruise ship, send them to the city, whatever. Just the characters are strong enough, they'll supply the comedy and the interaction. I felt that's what this was. I just love seeing their reactions just playing this game. And even all those rubies. Like, just they had this, these very distinct personalities and they were just fun to watch. Um, and then <laughs> even, even at the end, there's a little bit of a twist. Like, they're looking for, um, uh, oh, I forgot her name now. Uh... The one that's separated. Jasper. Jasper, yeah, they're looking for Jasper, which is like, why? Neptune! And, and even then, I don't... Why didn't they say where Jasper was? Why did the one... Was? I, I, I don't know. And I'm kind of with Peridot. I, I guess that's the sad part for Peridot, for such an egomaniac. She realizes even the villains don't want her now. Uh, um, they don't give a shit. But I... The other thing is, what was with the one ruby, with the ruby, like, Terminator eye, that was like, thank you. I was, uh, did we miss something? Is she a, maybe she just she a traitor? Does she work for the Valiant? Does she know what's going on? Or was she just saying thanks? I think she just didn't trust him. Like, maybe that's it. Just like, thank you. Like, okay. Like, I'm keeping oh, my eye okay. on you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's the only thing I... Wow, I didn't get that at all. If, if that is the case, good job. And that's I, my guess, but I don't know. I thought it was weird, too. I don't know. I don't know what it was. Um, um, and why are they looking for Jasper? Stop saying um when I say um. Um. 
There you go. Fuck you. <laughs> I the only Speaking thing I can figure. Um, <laughs> yeah. So the, yeah. Two of them. Uh, okay. It's a shame they couldn't make this an adult show because I really, when Ruby and Sapphire are there, I really wanted to say, "Hey, stop focusing on first base and focus on first base." I really yeah. wanted that to be a lie, but you know they can't do that. No, you want to know how immature it got. We actually started talking about it. It's just like, well, first base is this. Yeah, second base is this. What is third base? Yeah, we're like, is that like, because I know what a home run is. Yeah, we know what second base is. Is that like a BJ? You're just going down, like eating out, like you know, like is it anything below the belt? Like, we, <laughs> I, so I looked it up on my phone. <laughs> yeah, you're like, it's. I mean, this is funny, but it's a baseball game. I don't think I'm gonna miss any huge plot point. <laughs> I don't really think about the bases. I just, you, you just run them all, not thinking about it, and you know. That's the, how you play the game. The goal, the goal is the home run. So I just think about the home runs. So I wasn't, I wasn't dividing it up into individual bases. But yeah, we had kind of forgotten what exactly third base was. Turns out we were correct. By the way, <laughs> I, I turned to you and I was like, we were right. Yeah, I'm like, cool. Um, but um, I think the one thing so I was. That's how that's how terrible we are as human beings. <laughs> the Watching a children's cartoon show and doing that. Lightly disappointed in uh, when the five of them get together, all the rubies, they just make one big ruby. And I... Although, no, it doesn't, that does make sense, the more I think, because they all look exactly alike. Honestly, I thought that was awesome. Yeah, the more I think about it, it's like that is what they would look like. And it's like I the stupidity was multiplied by five as well. Yeah. The exponential stupidity. <laughs> Neptune? Well, why didn't you say so? <laughs> Good God. Yeah, no, because at first I'm like, why didn't you do one of the cool, funky designs? But all of them look almost exactly alike. There's only the tiniest differences, like in color and the hair's a little different and stuff. But uh, you, you know what I like? Makes sense. It, they just came out and said, like, going back to that scene at Home Plate, uh, they just came and said, what, is, what are they doing? Flirting. Mm -hmm. I'm like, wow, we've got an actual flirting lesbian couple here. Like, in a kid's cartoon. I don't think... Okay, with all the leaps and bounds that have been made, like, in the past year or two, I don't think that's an especially huge one. I, um, I think I know this you're show is... It is I nice think to this see show that. has set itself up well enough that we don't have to think of it that way, but when I actually sat there and thought about it for a second, I'm like, when have I ever even heard a line like that in another kid's cartoon? Well, wait, wait, too. Wait, yeah, wait, like, they literally flirting, said, yeah. flirting. And I'm like, oh, my God. Like... Hide your children, churchgoers! <laughs> I, I like that it... I like how they, it's like they come out, but then it's not like they ignore it. You know, it's one of those things where it's like they still have this chemistry. They will flirt, though, kind of. And it's getting Honestly, in the I, way, even. And I thought it was fucking adorable. Yeah, no, I, I think they're a really good couple. <laughs> yeah. Well, and it's, uh, yeah, and it's obvious they're good for each other because I think Ruby loans kind of dumb well that's why i like smarter it. than her compatriots but mm. you know and obviously i think uh sapphire has issues so it's they complement each other yeah up. no it's, they do you it's, know what it's love it's it's true love I, i'm kind of glad we're at that like point <laughs> i'm glad we're at that point because i mean i talked about this in my haunting review that you know when we were growing up gay couples was sort of like the new thing to be brought into media so it's sort of like they're gay and gay, that was gay, kind gay, of gay, it. Gay, gay. Yeah, it was sort of like either being gay was your personality. Yeah, it was either of like flaunting it in your face, yeah. like "Hey, we're gay, we're gay, we're gay, we're gay," and like that was it, or it was like not acknowledging they exist at all, except saying that person's gay. And no, that's it. I, as I said, I didn't think about this till after it had happened. I like sat there, and it was only like it went by, and I'm like, "Oh, that's cute." And then I thought of it, I was like, "Wait, when is the last time I?" Like, I couldn't even think of a scene where I had seen kind of something like that. Because even Cora pulled it out at the last second. Yeah, and that's... And nobody, I mean, there was no other, there was no honestly. other, nobody else in the group that was like, oh, they're flirting. Mm -hmm. Like, it just, so I was like, huh. I was like, that's kind of an interesting kind of benchmark moment that came and went. And, and I'm like, I'm fine with that. I would rather it work that way. It just was interesting. It wasn't until after the fact that I'm like... Oh yeah, I guess I don't really see that like often. Like it doesn't bother me. I'm just like that's that's cool. So. Well, and, and we watch, um, you know, and we... their personalities aren't the fact that they're gay. Like they're yeah. fully fleshed out personalities. To be fair, they may be asexual. They're gems. I don't know, but that's another interesting loophole to get around it because you can <laughs> do that then and then make that like I've literally seen some people arguing like, why do you have to bring sex into this? Like they're ace. I'm like, come on, you know what this is a metaphor for. Mm. Like, I don't... I in no way would have connected any of this to two women in love. At all. I know, right? At all. Because they're Where gems. Where are you yeah. getting that? Because they're, they're gems, gems, Rob. They're gems. <laughs> Therefore, no, it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't count. <sighs> um, 
You know, but we watch uh, Kimmy Schmidt, and this last season they had uh, Titus and this construction worker uh, come together as a couple, and they are polar opposites. And again, I feel like we're writing them now, where now it's not just, hey, write your gay character like a real person, it's write the couple like a real couple, because I love them in that show, and yes. they are just so And I will likable. say this, when it came to uh, Ty Titus, right? Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, when it came to Titus, I'm actually glad they did that, because I did have a kind of a problem with his characters. I was like, okay, he's very funny, but they definitely wrote him as, like, gay, that's him. <laughs> I was like, just... I felt like they he, he could be like they selfish him, and yeah. dumb. No, they and stuff started like they that. started giving him more of a personality as it went along, and I'm like, thank God, because if that literally was like the only joke, I'd be pissed. And when he finally gets involved in this relationship and has to work through his own selfishness, I'm like, okay, they got it, they nailed it, we're good, thank God. <laughs> like, um, no, but and I, I mean, and and don't I get me wrong, I really like from the beginning he was hilarious. You know, that freaking Pinot Noir song. Uh -huh. did. So, so it's not about he's not funny. It's just I'm like, yeah, this. I feel like they can flesh out more with this character. And they have been, so good yeah. for them. Um, and, and yeah, I think that's what I kind of like. And I like seeing But that it's a broad change, stroke yeah. comedy anyway. So I tend to forgive it that. Because I'm like, we're not talking about something that's like really... Like super deep. It's not time. a big <laughs> character study. It, it paints in broad strokes. And I like broad stroke comedy. So it, mm -hmm. it, it worked. But I'm, I'm glad they're doing more with him. Yeah, um, I don't know. I, I just feel that it, it just feels nicer because I mean, I think really with anything, I mean, you can say, ah, don't do that, or let's try this, or whatever. But until you see it, experience it, and kind of feel it, I I get the feeling like it doesn't make as big an impact. Um, I, I think that's just one of the ways you break through, like you know, kind of those barriers and stuff, is that you just show, oh, like <laughs> I like these people. I yeah, like seeing them. Is, as a I, was, I would rather see two characters who are good people doing good things who are gay and in love versus asshole characters that set a terrible example that happen to be hetero. It's like, it doesn't, you know, it, it doesn't matter. Like, if you're good people, I don't give a fuck what your sexual orientation is. <laughs> Say fuck again. Fuck, fuck. <laughs> you know, just don't give a fuck. <laughs> uh, you know, and I think people that do have way too much time on their hands. Yes. Um... <laughs> I said the two people watching a kid show. Uh, but this is our job as well, strangely enough. Uh, How did just, we get here? I don't know. But um, <laughs> there's there's many pros to it. <laughs> I'm not I'm not complaining. I'm just like, you kind of wake up some morning and you're just like, how'd this happen? How? <laughs> How did this series of events lead to this? Um, but uh, no, I... I really liked it, even though it was totally the opposite of what I thought I was going to get. I thought it was very funny, It, it very worked cute. in the end, I, but I did have that moment where I'm like, where are they going with yeah, this? Yeah, no, I was just like, baseball. Huh? You know, it's because the last two were kind of like very slow and character building and stuff. It is kind of nice. Like, here's, here's a goofy one that's not totally <laughs> ignoring like, hey, stuff is happening. You know, we found out. Now that that's Jasper. comedy. But yeah, but it, it's a funny, it's a comedy. It's a comedy episode no, and it's legitimately it funny and uses the characters. Uh... It worked, and they didn't go for the uh, first base reference. So. Yeah, good for them. We're the horrible people. Yeah, totally I totally would have done it. Uh, I, I would have fought hard for that. Even though the censors be like, "You just can't do that." I'd be like, "No, I'm making a stand for my be, stupid joke." I would be very curious because you know, as creators ourselves, we know there are times where we just want to do something but can't. Mm. I wonder if Rebecca Sugar is like one of those just sweet, nice types that would never think like that? Or if there's a part of her that she's just like, yeah, I would totally have loved to have done that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you always hear, like, you never know. In, you know, to get, because censors are so tough, like, they put in other stuff, like, much harsher to get other things they really want passed. Like, we're putting this into, you know, get taken out so they're distracted by this and yeah. not the thing we really wanted to get by. Kind of like the full house effect. I don't think she's sitting there going, like, how can I corrupt people with all these nasty little references? But more like you, you work on something so long that's so sweet and kind of innocent that, you know, occasionally you just want to be like, and then they totally do it. Like, just, <laughs> just because you're so sick of the sugary well, you sweet. Can, you like, can argue they kind of do when they form in a garden again. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I don't know. Why like, do you have to bring that into I'd it? I'd be very curious. There's I know, no yeah, connection. I know. I know nothing about the creator. We're just... <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun to fantasize. <laughs> like she's some nasty Bob Saget type. Of yeah. This. She's really nice. And then just like when she closes the door, she's like, fuck me. <laughs> fuck them all <laughs> like and that's her voice too it's like if she's got a normal woman voice what, she like, sounds like people. dr girlfriend yeah you know people. when i came up with the idea of the gems 
<laughs> fusing together. It was totally a metaphor for lesbian sex. <laughs> let's be honest. But more than that, it was a metaphor for love. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I want them to fuck each other on the baseball field. Oh my god, what are you doing? <laughs> You're totally turning this into some sleaze pool. <laughs> We gotta stop. Yeah, I don't know where we're going. You know, we, we should not have dropped acid before. Yeah, no, we really should. Because that episode made way too much sense. Because uh, right now, you look like Pennywise the Clown, and it's beginning to freak me out! We're done. We're done. We're done.